In the final days before the midterm elections, President Trump is again appealing to his hardline immigration supporters. The president now saying he wants to end citizenship for babies born in the U.S. to non-citizens. This as thousands of troops head to the U.S.-Mexico border ahead of the Central American caravan. Let's uh, send things over to Steve Garajola. He's in the Local 4 newsroom and he's been keeping an eye on the escalating tension mm. both on the campaign trail, Steve, and at the border. Yeah, Kimberly and Jason, that is so true. President Trump appears ready to attempt some drastic measures with regard to immigration. He will test his presidential power. The president says he will issue an executive order to basically eliminate the 14th Amendment. One week ahead of the midterm elections, President Trump is revving up his base with a promise he may not be able to keep. He says he's working on an executive order to end the constitutional right to citizenship for babies born in the U.S. to non-citizens. We're the only country in the world where a person comes in, has a baby, and the baby is essentially a citizen of the United States for 85 years with all of those benefits. It's ridiculous. In fact, more than 30 countries allow birthright citizenship, and in this country we call it the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, meaning the president may be counting on the fact that he has stacked the Supreme Court with like-minded appointees. This is a proposed executive order to rewrite the long-standing understanding of what citizenship means according to the Constitution. It's outrageous. But not outrageous at all to Trump supporters. You got pregnant women that are coming, you know, they're supposed to be coming thousand miles away just to have their baby over here. Now that's not right. Still, the polarizing message could backfire. All they want to do is get a better life for their family. That's the only reason why they travel here. Americans already know who Donald Trump is. The question is, who are we? As the president sends 5,200 troops to the border to confront the migrant caravan, he's gambling his focus on immigration will help his Republican Party keep control of Congress next week. We are one week away from midterm election day. President Trump plans at least 11 campaign stops across the country before next Tuesday. Uh, right now, no appearances have been announced here in Michigan. Back to you.